Winnebago Mini 2401 RG at 5,220 pounds here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Perfect couples camper. Perfect. It, uh, you know, on the upper end SUV towable, probably better for the half ton market. Um, depends on the bigger SUVs are going to be fine. Smaller SUVs you're going to want to watch. Um, the, uh, there's a lot of good trailers out there. There's more than one person that builds floor plans just like this. So what is it about the Winnebago that I like so much? The simple thing is the intangible, the fact that it is not a problem child. We sell these, they stay in your driveway, they don't come back to mine, they don't give their owners problems. That's the best thing about these. They do live up to the name. Now, contrary to what you might think, they are not crazy expensive in the market because they carry the Winnebago name. They are not living off their laurels here. They are earning their place in the market. They're doing it one trailer at a time. They're doing it the right way. Um, their their towable trailers here are just really growing like crazy right now and because they have a lot of good things not found in this market segment and yet they're they're right there in the pocket with the same price tags as all the other guys have been doing the lightweights for years they just really came on strong so uh, you saw the power awning has uh, LED lighting that's an upgrade by the way the trailer we have in stock might look massively different from this but you see that we've got this amazing beautiful blueberry skin on this thing right here um, we've got uh, red box, white nose, blue skin, right in time for Memorial Day here at the time of this filming. Couldn't have planned that any better if I tried. Wish I had planned it, actually. But this is not just colored fiberglass. This is a true gel coat. That is found nowhere else in, in, in this segment of the lightweight world. It's not just a high gloss fiberglass. It is a truly gel coated fiberglass. Uh, that is the best quality skin used in the market right now. They're using the best chassis in the industry. Um, Winnebago basically invented lamination that you find on almost all these other trailers nowadays. Winnebago is the one that basically laid the foundation for that. Um, the, the chassis in here I said is superior. It's an aircraft style, high strength, low alloy frame. It's stronger and lighter. That is not to say that if another trailer doesn't have this frame that it's going to be a, uh, a piece of junk and fall apart. What I'm saying is that this is less likely to have problems. It's uh, statistically more likely to, to maintain its square so you have even tire wear and tear. You don't have uh, extra wall stress that shouldn't be there. It's a better chassis. It's not that the other ones can't be acceptable. It's that this one is better. Um, when you color the skin on a Winnebago, you get these awesome little uh, accents on your aluminum wheel package here so that everything always matches and always looks good. Like you have red on red, there's red, blue, platinum, champagne, white. Those are the five colors that are available on this at the time of this filming. You see that we do have an access ladder on the back here because this does have a full walk-on roof. That is only true for, I don't know, half-ish of the, the lightweight industry. Not all, and in fact, like I said, maybe half of the trailers in the lightweight market actually have walk-on roofs. A lot of ours here at Hey Let's Do, but we tend to be pretty picky on our inventory that way. Um, all windows open for breeze, and in fact, the, the side windows on your slides are slider windows for breeze. Everything else is going to be a jealousy window, including that extra, extra big bedroom window up front there. Jealousy windows are great because you can use them in the rain. Cool little stuff over here. We've got a black tank flush. We have an outside utility shower. We also have separate hookups for cable and satellite. Normally, you get one hookup for both systems. Um, for a lot of people, it doesn't matter. But for those who actually do use a satellite, it is kind of not user-friendly. Constantly unplugging that thing and uh, unplugging your cable to plug in the satellite, then back and forth. I mentioned the upgrade to a power awning. Notice that both entry doors do have triple steps. A lot of trailers in the lightweight world, you might get a triple on the main, but you'll drop down to a double on the, the, the off door, off entry door, so to speak. Um, stepping inside here. What I like about these also is that they look different both inside and out. Like I said, there's other manufacturers that in theory are constructed very similarly. Um, there are other manufacturers that have a very similar layout to this. We actually carry several here at Halitz because this is a good model for sure. But nobody else looks like this. They have such a clean, beautiful look inside from top to bottom, inside and out. 100% carpetless, by the way. Super duper easy to clean. You don't have to deal with uh, getting you know dirt and cheap plastic carpet. Good LED lighting inside. The off-white uh, wood tones with these extra big windows I was talking about, it really brightens it up in here and it makes a little trailer feel not so little. Um, 
This is called the Mamba Decor, which is uh, like all light leatherettes with just a couple little dark accents on some window treatments and the bedspread. And that also is a very light, very bright decor. Blue or red skin with Mamba interior is my favorite Winnebago personally, but hey, maybe you don't like it. That's why we carry more than one. Uh, we almost, like right now, we, uh, at the time of this filming, we also have this in stock with the champagne skin. Um, you know, when, when you're watching this, our inventory stock could be different. That's why down here in the video description, it says click for pricing and availability. That'll show you what we actually have in stock and with its uh, unique equipment package, what we are asking for each individual trailer. Awesome drawer space in here. This has some more drawers than a lot of rear kitchens I've seen with extra storage under the sink here that is just kind of tucked away behind those drawers. All of our cabinet doors are all seamless, so bouncing down the road, this is not going to fall apart. Also, this cabinetry is screwed together, not stapled together. It's not going to fall apart on you. I also like this little hidden away command center in here. It's nothing special. It's just tucked out of the way. What I like is how it hides the water heater buttons. This has a gas and electric water heater so that the kids, uh, grandkids can't, you know, melt down the water heater. I did that to my grandpa's camper once when we were camping. <laughs> I was a little bit younger. I felt really bad. I knew something was wrong, but hey. Um, little differences. Do the wedding ring test when you walk around other trailers. Do this on the slide fascia. This is, you know, actual real wood slide fascia. It's it's not press board slide fascia. Nothing, again, necessarily wrong with MDF or press board fascia. It's just that this is a better component that will tend to hold together over time. Sofa can jackknife down uh, into a sleeper if need be. Now here's where this is cool. A lot of uh, makers of this floor plan is just a sofa slide out. If you look at the slide fascia, you notice how it also encompasses this refrigerator sized closet. This one monster closet is located in the slide. You could, I mean, a grown adult could hide in here and, and scare their partner. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm saying it's something that I would not personally be opposed to doing. <laughs> Now, the other hiccup with a lot of these little 24-foot rear kitchens is the entertainment center usually sucks. And this one has a nice one. The TV is at a nice viewing height. It's not way up here at the corner where you're getting neck cramps trying to look at the thing. It's right where you want it to be. And check this out. We got these cross breeze windows here. We got windows behind us. I got a window to my right sitting in the sofa. Tons of airflow going on in this thing. Um, and this is AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, so you don't have to lug along extra electronics. We do have storage under the dinette, and I love all the little radius work they do. Not everybody in the lightweight business is doing central heating. You know, we tend to enclose and insulate our underbellies on our Winnebago's. That's another nice thing. Um, the bathroom and the bedroom are very cool. Let's, let's start up here and we'll actually get to the uh, bathroom. So we have a second entry door. Most... 24-foot uh, rear kitchens don't have a second entry door. This, when you're going down the road, allows you to instantly, easily access the bathroom right there. You don't have to monkey with the slide out. It just pops right out. Now, we also have a very easily walked around bed here um, with uh, a bedside stand over there as well as, uh, you know, a nice full-size hanging closet on this side. So you kind of get the best of both worlds there. An extra vent for airflow above. And they're using a, a superior King Jack antenna system here. It just gives you uh, more channels, better range, and better clarity. And once again, that big, big oversized bedroom window. And you got one of those on both sides that can open. Here's the other cool thing. Not all 24-foot rear kitchens have bedroom privacy. This one actually has doors that shut. That sounds like a simple thing. Not all of them do. The bathrooms of a lot of these 24-foot rear kitchen campers don't usually have good linen space like this one does. That is a very cool thing. I'm actually going to work my way around the other side of the bathroom here. Bear with me for a second. So um, now you see that we've got a, a porcelain foot flush stool with lots of leg room. And, uh, you know, it, it cleans better because it's porcelain, not plastic. You have the same stainless material, uh, well, same, you have a stainless sink here in the bathroom, just like you have a stainless sink in the kitchen. That's what I was trying to say, and just my brain melted down. I've been in the sun all day. Yeah, cut me some slack. <laughs> Floating style mirror here with a, an awesome medicine cabinet so that you can actually keep your shavers and stuff like that off the countertop and there are outlets down here and I like how actually your bathroom light switch is right down here where it's easy to get to. And then to top it all off, we have a full 29 inch radius uh, fifth wheel style shower with a skylight uh, instead of a tub as is usually found in a trailer or a 24 inch um, angle shower, which is better than a tub in my view for couples camping, but this is bigger and better still. 
So that's just this one at a glance. This does have um, a uh, uh, aluminum um, structure about it. Like I said, laminated uh, sidewalls, uh, uh, aluminum uh, studs in the floor, uh, plywood floor decking, 3 8 walk-on roof decking. This is an awesome trailer. It does everything well. It is uh, a service dream. We like these because they are not service problems. That's my favorite part about these. I don't care what the trailer is. I don't care how fancy, expensive, cheaper, um, you know, unimpressive it is. As long as it performs and stays in your driveway, I'm happy. So give us a uh, call here, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.